Hey, what's up? I'm Andrew Bacon, and today I'm going to show you how I unboxed my Makita battery weed eater and tested it out for the first time, and it is pretty awesome. So check it out on today's episode of Field Treasure Designs. <laughs> So this goes about like you'd expect. Unboxing this new weed eater was really exciting though because I've never owned a battery powered weed eater. I grew up using gas like many of you I'm sure and I've used a gas powered weed eater around my house as long as I've owned a home. So it was exciting for me to finally give up gas and go battery. I owned a steel weed eater which was really good and powerful but in favor of battery I got rid of gas and I sold it on Facebook Marketplace and I didn't have to add much more money in order to pay for this new Makita battery one. First is the charger which I actually might sell this charger because I already own a double charger for my track saw, which is Makita. The battery included is a four amp hour battery, which is pretty powerful. And thankfully I've already got four other batteries of the same model that go with my track saw. So I'm never going to be short on batteries. A quick test of the battery power and yeah, just one bar, no big deal. I've got four other batteries to grab if I need it. Next, I went for the bag. This was kind of cool. It's a Makita branded little bag and like a pouch. And it's kind of like those drawstring bags that work as backpacks. But yeah, this is better than just a plastic bag, which I thought was kind of cool. A couple other miscellaneous components. Here's the wire guard and now the weed eater itself. Oh man, I cannot believe how light this is. It's literally like a toy. Let's just hope it performs a little bit better than a toy. Yeah, there's the back. You slide the battery pack in there and that kind of cantilevers it in your hand to kind of distribute the weight. Yeah, everything's good. Now I'm opening the wire guard and going to attach it. This right here is the wire or nylon cord cutter. And so if you extend your cord too long, it's gonna automatically cut it. It's not as sharp as you might expect. So I wouldn't recommend having your cord too long. The cover just attaches with two hex bolts and it's pretty simple. And yeah, the contents of that bag was a strap, the head, and the Allen wrenches you need. So yeah, just grabbed an Allen wrench and a couple quick tightenings and we're all good. So a few other things, it has that strap that comes with it, which I will not be using since it's so light. And then it also has the cord guard that you can see there, you can click on and I'll demonstrate how to use that later on. It just clicks on really easy. I'm not sure how much I'll actually use it, but we'll see. And here's the spool. It's not quite as heavy duty as my steel, but we'll see how it holds up over time. And then this little metal plate comes with it. After reading the instructions, it goes between the weed eater and the spool. To put the spool on, it's really easy. You put that metal plate down and then literally you just screw on the spool. You just tighten it by hand, no problem at all, but then they included an Allen wrench that you actually stick in a hole that will lock it in place so that you can screw it in with your hand without it spinning anymore. And yeah, tighten it by hand and good to go. I'll show you how to re-spool the cord at the end of the video. But for now, it's time to click that battery on and test this out. Before I turn it on though, I wanted to make sure the cords were cut to the right length. Like I mentioned earlier, if your cord's too long, it'll just slam against that cutter and really stress it out. So here's how it sounds. So far, it feels pretty great. It sounds good and it's very, very light. Here's a look at the controls. So there's a few buttons, you have to switch it on and off, and then you can control the speed. There's three different speed settings on this one, slow, medium, and fast. Now let's go test this out for real. Safety first. So here's my driveway. As you can see, there is a lot of edging to be done. Now on some portions, I've got the dirt channel, which doesn't wear out the nylon cord as much. And then on some portions, it's cutting into the driveway, which sometimes wears out that cord. So here's me coming straight up the line. And I did stop to bump feed it a few times because I thought that the cord had already broken off because of the concrete, but really it was just because it was a new tool and I wasn't used to it like I was my steel. So all in all, it worked pretty darn well. All good so far. Now I want to try some edging along the fence. 
This is the guard I was talking about earlier. You can flip it down and it's going to protect against the objects like the fence or a tree. The only thing is, is it keeps your cord from reaching all the way. Let's see how it works. By the way, I had already forgot that you have to turn it on every time you use it. It does have an auto shut off mechanism, which is kind of nice. Here's another bump feed action. I'm always scared of losing the line through the hole and having to restring it. Anybody else? But yeah, the bump feed works pretty well. So as you can see, having that guard on it, it's nice because it protects the fence or a tree, but it doesn't let your cord reach as far as you need to to make it look like a clean edge. So after one pass, I decided to flip it up and not use it. And it works pretty great without it. So I've done one line of edging and then I've done one good fence line of weed eating. Let's check how the battery's doing. I haven't even lost a bar yet. Okay, for the third test, I've kind of got this in between weed eating and edging, these landscaping pavers. And as you can see, it's working really good. This was always a problem with my steel weed eater. It was always kind of hard to get that right angle. With this Makita battery, it's no problem at all. And it's super light. You'll see me kind of use one hand here in a minute and it's great. Okay, so after doing some tests, I wanted you to see all of the edging that I had to do in my front yard. As you can see, lots of driveway and lots of edging. And so I'm gonna fast forward this really quick so you can kind of get an idea of how much I'm using it and then how much battery's left. And here's my immediate reaction after finishing this stage. It's still at full battery. <laughs> and this is, this has been going six minutes. Well, and, you know, I can go so much faster too, but six minutes. Not even lost the charge. So next I took it to the backyard to go around trees and some other elements that I've got back there. So easy to go around trees and man, you can even hold it one handed as you'll see me do later. I can honestly say I did not feel the fatigue that I used to feel with my gas powered steel. So I did this run and then I turned the camera to the left for more of the backyard and you can see I've got some edging and fence as well as around the rocks and landscaping pavers. And so this is about all that I had to weed eat. I wanted to show you everything just so you can get an idea of exactly how a homeowner might use it. And once again, here's my immediate reaction. Oh, we lost one bar. <laughs> so we're talking about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's so light, like a toy. Dude, it's one of those, why didn't I do it sooner? Before you jet, I wanted to show you how to change the spool out with the nylon cord. It's pretty simple. You don't need a tool, just press in the two tabs on each side like that and it will pop right off. Then you flip it around and then you pull out the spool that's inside the head there. Now this style is one complete nylon cord, so when you change it you only need one piece. You don't need two individual pieces, which I like. The middle hooks onto that tab there and then you take your cord and wrap it around the corresponding side. 
When you're done, there's two tabs that you can clip the cord in to hold it in place while you insert it back into the spool. Once it's inside the spool, I just bend the cord back and hold it underneath so that I can then attach it to the head of the weed eater. Then you just turn it over and click it back into place. And there you have it, the Makita battery powered weed eater. And as you can see, after doing my whole yard, only one bar lost, incredible. To clean it, I just spray it down with my compressor air just to knock off all the loose stuff. And that's it, man, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. I know for me, I scrutinized over owning and using a battery powered weed eater. And I am so glad that I went ahead and did this. It cost about $200 for the kit. Honestly, I would probably rather it be about 150, but honestly, it's great. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay connected to all my future videos and we'll see you next time. Thanks.